is. Keep your nib out of it. Dee! I've got to talk to you, Dee. What is going on? Why don't you go back inside and polish your Parent of the Year award? Johnny. I think he's a little bit upset. Dee! Has she finally seen since? <laughs> For heaven's sake, Eric, Alice is still asleep. I want to see Dee. She doesn't want to see you. Well, we'll soon see about that. No, Eric. I'm my husband, damn it. This is only going to make things worse. I've got to talk to her. Tell her I'm sorry. There's been a terrible misunderstanding. So you're just going to sit there drinking coffee? Could hardly go to Germany to drag your father back. You could try to persuade him. If I wanted to. What do you mean by that? Mum! Thank you. That's fine. He's gone. You don't mind me using the phone? No. No, of course not. I think Eric's finally seen reason. He really wants to talk. I'm sure you can sort this out. I booked a flight home. Will you make it back in time for the funeral? I bought a one-way ticket. I'm not coming back. You can't be too hasty, dear. You can't make a decision like this in anger. He deliberately kept me away from my mother when she needed me. How can I forgive him for that? I'm sure he did it because he didn't want to lose you. He didn't trust me. That's Eric. I know. And I don't want to spend the rest of my life with him. I can trust you, can't I? I'm not important. My passport and things are still in the flat. Would you be able to get them out for me? Dee, shouldn't you at least talk to Eric before you go? It's too late. Three pounds eighty per hour. When will the ad go in? Because we're pretty desperate. Oh, well, I suppose I'll have to do. Bye. Well, if you iron dry then, Ashley. Becky cans. Yes. I don't think she'll be returning to work. I could have told you it wouldn't last. What are you getting at? Well, this stands to reason. Woman of her sort. Well, you know what they like. They only work for pin money. Little job, stop them from getting bored. No commitment. You do well to stop making judgments about things which you know nothing about. I'm not surprised she walked out if that's the way you talk to your staff. I'm sorry, I don't feel too good. Would you mind? Leaving the cleaning for today. But I'm here now. I'll still pay you. Oh, I am. Go on, then. Must be serious. Flowers one day, pack of mints the next. Hey, Vic, you should have seen Eric Pollard earlier. Why would I want to see him first thing in the morning? He was in a right two and eight outside of Cathy's. Cathy don't mean nothing to him. Oh, well, I know that, you lemon. Dee was there. She'd been there all night. At Cathy's? Well, you work for them. You must know what's going on. Why was she at Cathy's? Well, you're not much use, are you? From what I could make out, she's left him. Surprised she stuck it so long. Probably thinks he's going to be out of a job. Fancy a swap, Sal? Mm, fine. When I finish this. It takes you all morning. That's my bite. Morning! Oh. Look at you, pair. Reading papers and there's news happening in Main Street. That isn't news, Betty, that's gossip. Anyway, you're early. Well, so it was on her eye or so. I thought I'd come where I were appreciated. <laughs> Eric Pollard's wailing like a banshee cos his wife's walked out on him. Oh, well, I feel sorry for young Dee. Oh, yeah, so do I, but, I mean, she's not as innocent as she makes out, you know. She's got enough problems without us adding to them. What makes you holier than thou all of a sudden? I had a word with Ned Glover What's yesterday. What's he got to do with anything? His family is being destroyed by small-minded tittle-tattle. Is that a dig at me? I think it's time somebody drew the line. Oh, you do, do you? Well, I think I'll draw the line and all. I'm fed up of being taken for granted, me. I come round 
here and have an interesting conversation, and all I get is insinuations I get as much respect as a drip mat. Ah, well, drip mats don't go around bad-mouthing folk. Right. That's it. I'm walking. I'm resigning. Forthwith. Are you all right, Mr Pollard? No. I, I could tell. <laughs> Do you want to pay a visit? Dancing around like a demented baboon. Oh, I, I, I always do this when I'm threatening about something. I, I, I can see you're uptight. Yes, well, your hopping around is not helping any. I'll sit down. <laughs> Women, eh? God, please help me. Marriage guidance from a half wit. I prefer you jigging around, thank you. Oh, yeah. Here she is, Judas. Dee's very upset. No doubt you were fanning the flames into the small hours, were you? Who else could she turn to? Her husband. Then why didn't you tell her that her mother was dangerously ill? <laughs> of course, I'm not surprised you'd taken her side. After all, it was you and the others who tried to warn her off me in the first place when you first arrived, remember? Eric, why don't you go and talk to her now? Oh, yeah, that's right. I should go running around there with my tail between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, imbecile. I'm not going anywhere. I humiliated myself earlier on. She had a chance. Beginning to regret it, is she? I'll be able to devote more of my time to you in future, Cathy Love. Serves her right. No, I've just told Alan Turner he can stick his job. I need your help. Well, don't you want to know what happened at the wall back? Betty, I haven't got time. Oh, thanks a bunch. You're just like all the rest you. I suppose you think I'm a gossip and all. Look, I need your help, and so does Dee. I wasn't too sure whether you'd see me. How did you know I was here? You're leaving him, aren't you? Yeah. This is perfect, Dee. We can be together now. You're not going to regret this. I've let you in because I've made a decision. I think I should tell you. We're going to be so good together. Will, I'm leaving the country. What? I'm going home and I'm not coming back. Oh, I can't find the ruddy leak. Well, you could always get a bona fide diploma. Excuse me. You're not made of money. I know how to find it. Solid Joe! Great dick of Pope! Ah, God, my... God, Mr. Pollard! You'd be looking at 30 years if you did for me! God, give me strikes! <sighs> I'll have to get changed now. Oh, no! No, you can't go and leave that in that mess. What? Everything's taken care of. Eric, what on earth have you been doing? Waiting to see what else could go wrong. Are you all right, love? Leave me alone. I didn't think you were. Just leave me. And horse is that. Nearly as nice as my Samson. Is that supposed to be funny? I've got an horse, of course I have. Old Samson. Liar. I let him stop up at that heritage farm that Tate's used to own. He owns his corn, pulling a trap around. Happiest day as long as. So what's up then? My mother never really approved of me coming here. She didn't understand that I did it for them. It was the only way I could provide them with a decent life. Now I think she was right. Well, I could go back with you. We could live there together. You don't understand. This isn't about you and me. My mother has died. I know. I want to be there with you. Help you through it. I'll get through it. I'm the woman who advertised on the internet. 
and travelled halfway round the world to a strange country. I made that business a success. I'm not a helpless little girl, which is how you treat me. But don't you love me? You're a beautiful boy. Eric. Will, what are you doing here? Did he see you? No, I just grabbed what I could. Oh. Taxi's outside waiting. You're a true friend, Kathy. I just hope you're sure about this. Dee. This will help you remember me until you're ready to forget. How can I forget you? I love you. I must go. I love you! I think I could have loved you, but it wouldn't be right. Not we're loose. Uh, that leak, the, the knot in the U bend were loose. Get away. Well, I've fixed it now. Good lad. Why don't you help yourself to a green bun, love? Oh, ta. You knew, didn't you? What are you on about? Hey, but Betty's given us a cream bun, Mr. Pollard. She might give you one. Shut it. She's taken her clothes, everything. Well, what did you expect? She is my wife. She belongs here. Take care of yourself. Thanks again, Cathy. You sure? Yeah. Give them to Eric. Can we go, please? Now? Shut the door. Please. <laughs> you the right to interfere in my life. Don't shout at Cathy, Mr. Pollard. Shut up. She asked me to. Oh. Oh, I see. Female solidarity, is it? We're supposed to be business partners, yet you do this behind my back. She was your wife. Oh, I see you've remembered. I was. She's going back to the Philippines, isn't she? It's too late, Eric. Which airport? Let her go! Which one? You owe me! Please, I'm entitled to a chance to talk to her, aren't I? Oh, for God's sake, I'm not going to drag her back! I want to talk to her. I need to talk to her. Leeds Bradford, she's flying on to London. Can I come, Mr. Pollard? I, I like planes. You want to wait a whistle? Go on. I only drink it to keep Betty happy. I'd rather have a pint of beer. <laughs> right, now, where I see it... Man, you know I'm an old fool, so you don't have to take any notice. Whether your dad comes back or not, there's somebody needs you. Delilah does. Oh, aye, horse does. Aye, but there's somebody else. Your mum. She only thinks about herself. They both do. Well, we all do, at one time or another. Why didn't she tell me what was happening? She probably felt a right dirty. <laughs> a rubby doing a moonlight flip, that's not the sort of thing you go on about. She could have talked to me, though. Maybe she didn't want you to be fretting. I mean, she thought it would blow over. Most things do, given time. I'll tell you what we'll do. 
You drink your tea and then I'll take you to see your mum. All right. She really does need you, you know. OK. What do you reckon you're doing? Disinfecting, what's it look like? Well, I never bother with that malarkey. I bet you don't bother with soap and water either. Oi, Jacko, does this fella there know what he's doing? I'll do you! Oh, quick tempered and all, I see. Can't you find him something to do, Jack? Worth paying him to wind you up. <laughs> hey, speaking of which, when am I going to be drawing me money? What? Your wages. You've only just started. <laughs> That's taking a smile off your face, hasn't it? Helen Ackroyd, courier. I know you are. Could have cheat you on your face round here. Uh, I just want a word with you, Mr Glover. I'm busy. You can get off my land right now. Not until Mr Glover's heard what I've got to say. He was in a long time. Don't you think this family have suffered enough? I do, and that's why I'm here. Look, I tried to get something on the takes 12 months ago. Just thought with the help of Mr Glover I might be able to nail him this time. I'm not sure whether I did the right thing. Well, I think you deserve a medal. I can't help feeling sorry for Eric. Well, he's hardly the pathetic victim, is he? I won't waste my sympathy. You don't have to face him when he gets back. Uh, look, it was Dee's choice. I'm surprised she stuck at it so long. I think I'll make myself scarce this evening. Fancy a drink? Oh, I can't. I've brought a lot of work home from school. Registers for next term and that. OK. I might ring Jess. Why? Ask him out. <laughs> well, that's a bit forward, isn't it? Oh, I see. So you thought you were in with a chance? <laughs> of course not. Oh, I'll phone him, then. <clears throat> uh, what time does Dee's flight take off? Uh, about now. Boring card, please, sir. Dee! You must need, you need a boarding card, sir. She's my wife, damn it! Don't walk away! My plane's leaving. Take a later one, if you must. We've got to talk. I'm sorry, Eric. Please! Goodbye. I love you! Oh well, duty calls. Have an exciting night. Doing your registers. <laughs> I suppose you've heard about all the goings on we've had here, haven't you? And we've only heard half of it. Uh, Betty, are you doing anything tonight? Yeah, it depends. I need a sitter. I've got a date. Oh, anybody I know, and is he married? No, no. Is that all you're going to tell me, then? I just don't want anyone to know around here. You know what they're like. I mean, that's why I've asked you. Discretion is my middle name. My lips are sealed. As long as I'm the first to know if there's out worth knowing. <laughs> Everything all right? 
Oh, I reckon so. Come on. I'll make you a cup of tea. What's going on? Well, there's no wrong with making your mum a pot of tea. There's no better than that. And a good old chin wag. Is the Mrs. Cairns. Mums and daughters should have a chat. Want to join us? Join you? All farm will fall apart if I'm not there and Kim Tate will be down on me like a ton of bricks. <laughs> Thanks. Look, I don't want you to make a decision now. But if you don't talk to me, I won't be able to put your side of things. And if the tabloid boys move in, look, at least I'm local. I can put a woman's point of view. Kim Tate's a woman. <sighs> look, um, I don't want to pressurise you, Ned. It's not my style. But... But I came into journalism because I believe in justice. I know this sounds corny, but I believe you've suffered a great injustice. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. <sighs> Look, I'll be there if you think I can help. Hey! Hey, oh, this is Lois Lane. Hey, why don't you do a feature on me, eh? Chef with a recipe for success. You couldn't wait to get rid of her, could you? What are you on about? She's gone. Back to the Philippines. For good. You caused all this. I, I, I warned you early on you were wasting your time. Yeah, and you made sure I was. You set it up so Pollard would find out. Now, why should I play little school kid games? I kept that place running while you two were mooning over each other. And you really think he's going to make someone like you manager? Who knows? Who knows? So, I'll give you some advice. Why don't you go home and worry that computer of yours? I hear there's an old section on mail order brides. I'm sure even you could cop for summer. Slimy <laughs> creep! Hey! Hey, hey! hey it's all right, hey, hey, off me! Hey! If you like that and shandy, don't start on spirits! Any chance of some service in here or what? <clears throat> hey! I thought you knew better, Will. No, no that's all right, Terry. We made our bed. Okay. Now then, young man. I shall have to have a word with your father. You'll have to find him first. What's he playing at? I shouldn't have stopped. The devil's going on. I shouldn't have stopped. You sniveling, spoiled brat. You got your life on a plate and yet you had to take the only good thing in my life. Not your day, is it, Kenzie? Come on, Eric, that's enough. It was you who destroyed her! She doesn't love you. She never loved you. She was a prisoner here, trapped. And now she's escaped. That's why she's left you. <laughs> 